hey friends welcome or welcome back to my channel for those who are new here i'm karisha and thank you so much for stopping by today so in this video i'll be showing you guys how i achieved this look i needed a break from doing my hair because i was getting over it if you guys know then you know so i wanted to get full locks but i've never done it before and i was a bit scared so i decided to stick to something that i know which is box braids so I used color number one as well as one pack of color number 30. This is what I have going on so far. I have a total of 36 braids in my head. Remember I told you I wanted to get full lock so I had installed some mini braids. I also want to mention that the rubber band method was only used on the top part of my hair and my edges as I did not want to use any edge control. So it is very important before installing the braid that you feather the ends of the hair. And that is done by lightly tugging on the tips of the hair. While I'm braiding, I apply some grease to my hair as well as the braid, not only for sheen, but because the hair, if it's too dry, it can like slice your skin, it almost feels like a paper cut. So to avoid that, you can either choose to apply the grease to the hair or to your fingertips while you're braiding. What I'm doing here is taking some hair from the two end pieces, right, and combining it with my hair so that it gets some thickness as my hair will soon end and I need the thickness to go straight throughout the braid. Personal tip here, I think it's very important that you have a mirror directly in front of your face so that you can see exactly what is happening with the braid, right? So. Here I realized that my hair is almost at its end so I need to add a bit more hair. So maybe someone is wondering how I know the amount of hair that I need to use for each braid as well as how much hair I need to add in. It really just, <laughs> it's really just a feeling Like when you feel it, you will know if it's too much or too little. I can't explain. <laughs> To ensure that the thickness is even all the way throughout the braid, I do this little thing where I take the end of this comb and I stick right in the middle of the braid. No, when you're braiding, you can braid it too tightly and this kind of helps to loosen it up a bit. There may also be spots where I tugged a bit too tightly and I just take the end of that comb and I pull it out a bit until the evenness matches up.
So avoid burning my hair again <laughs> i am trimming yes where my hair is down to where it stops and i am burning from below my hair straight to the ends of each braid the next step to making these braids look super professional is to seal them by dipping them in hot water which I did off camera This is the part for edge layers, edge layers, okay? For those of you who are familiar with my videos, you know that I do not lay my edges. But for those of you who do, go ahead and jazz up this look, do your thing. We have made it to the end of this video for those who made it to this point thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like this video to comment how much 10 out of 10 yes share this with your family and your friends and do not forget to subscribe as well as hit that post notification bell to be notified as soon as i post a next video okay i'll catch you in my next one in the meantime stay safe and big up your nice clean self